Ford's midsize Ranger pickup truck will be redesigned for the 2023 model year. It adopts bolder front-end styling inspired by the larger F-150. While Ford has said it will offer the new Ranger with a turbo diesel V6 in some markets. A four-wheel drive system is optional, and we could see a hybrid powertrain option join the lineup too, but we're most excited about the prospect of a high-performance Raptor variant. There will be two distinct body styles, a four-door crew cab and an extended cab model with two rear half doors. The cabin receives a similar makeover, featuring a large, vertically-oriented infotainment system similar to what's found in the Edge SUV. The new Ranger squared off front fascia, meshed grille, and distinct C-shaped LED DRLs exude toughness, while the defined fenders make the muscular demeanor more apparent. On the sides, the chiseled panels continue the machismo from up front, which can also be found at the rear. Gone were the uninspired block lights of the outgoing model, the taillights now come with LED graphics to keep up with the times. Probably the best part is that the stamped Ranger wordmark has been retained for this version. The current Ranger is already a macho-looking truck, but Ford wants to amplify its ruggedness further. That dominating on-road presence is the very thing that made the nameplate popular in the USA. This story will be the same with the new generation model. While Ford could pull a switcheroo, we think the new Ranger will come with the same turbocharged 2.3-liter four-cylinder as the outgoing model. In our experience, this engine provides ample power to hustle the mid-sized truck around, and we don't expect that to change with the new model. Ford says it will offer a turbo diesel V6 in other markets, but we don't think it will make its way to North America. A variety of transmissions are available, including a 6-speed manual and a 10-speed automatic, but we think Ford will stick with the 10-speed as standard equipment on Rangers in the U.S. The overall height of the new Ford Ranger has grown slightly due to taller profile tires, with a range of 17-inch, 18-inch and 20-inch wheel and tire packages available, which delivers better ground clearance model for model. The three-piece construction allowed modifications such as wider tracks, revised monotube front shock absorbers, and a repositioned rear suspension outboard of the frame rails for more on-road stability, off-road capability, and ride refinement. The adjustments on the Ranger's track and wheelbase allow for better parameters in relation to off-roading. The approach angle has been increased to 30 degrees, up from 28.5 degrees, and the rear departure angle improved to 23 degrees, up from 21 degrees. Interior, the Ranger's cabin receives a modern look with an available digital gauge display, textured dashboard trim, and honeycomb patterned air vents. Most of the truck's various controls and buttons have been digitized and are now part of the infotainment system. Ford has incorporated several interior storage solutions into the new Ranger's interior design, including a hidden upper glove box in the dashboard, larger door pocket cubbies, and storage located under the truck's rear seat. As the latest version of the mid-sized truck, the Ranger foregoes analog controls and displays in favor of a fully digital instrument cluster and a massive 12.0-inch, portrait-oriented infotainment screen with SYNC 4, at least in wild track guise. The displays are quite legible and the contrast of colors makes the text pop, while the capacitive feature of the center touchscreen allows for quick responses. 
but just like most vertical infotainment systems that integrate most, if not all, controls into a hulking screen, the learning curve is steep. It took me some time before I was able to familiarize myself with the menus, finding the around view monitor and off-road menus meant pulling over and digging into the system. The experience would have been better if it was just through a single touch of a button. Going through the rotary menu of drive modes wasn't seamless either. There was substantial latency and the knob felt cheap, spoiling the overall experience. The biggest problem with this digital setup, at least while I was off-roading, was the fact that the rear differential lock is clustered within the infotainment screen. Granted, the control on the outgoing model was also digital, but the arrangement was better before when a physical diff lock button was clustered together with the shift on the fly for WD modes. For the more traditional crowd, the new setup would be a point of contention and could potentially raise questions. Thank heavens Ford chose to separate the dual zone HVAC controls onto a cluster of buttons and knobs, which allows for a no look operation even whilst driving. The 360-degree camera also has one of the clearest and most accurate displays I've seen so far, something that was quite useful during the off-road course. It's too early for the new Ranger to have an NCAP crash test rating, but Ford fully expects another 5-star result. That's because there has been progress in the areas of passive safety, with the addition of a front-center airbag, taking the total airbag count to 9. Active safety is expected to include autonomous emergency braking AEB, reverse AEB, post-impact braking, lane keep assist, lane departure warning, driver alert, parking sensors all round, blind spot alert, cross traffic alert with trailer coverage, reverse camera and auto on off headlights with auto high beam functionality. These come on top of anti-lock brakes, ABS, with electronic brake force distribution, anti-roll stability control and hill start assist. Front seats that were inspired by those used by fighter pilots have tall backs and side bolsters to support the driver and passenger, and even the rear seat of the Raptor gets exclusive added bolsters to cradle its passengers. In a very modern move, Ford also has hooked the Ranger up to an app called Ford Pass. This allows customers to stay connected to their vehicles in a variety of ways. You can control the zone lighting system from the app, auto start your car, check the status of your Ranger, receive notifications if a service is required, and remotely lock and unlock your car. The Ford Pass app is set up to accept software updates automatically due to an embedded modem, so customers don't have to worry about being behind. While the cabin's design won't blow you away, it all seems to be simple, functional, and practical, and those are the factors that are important in a truck. In the second row, the Ford Ranger Wild Track is quite comfortable with three adult passengers. There is also an AC panel to cool the room on the second row. The Ford Ranger also offers plugs to charge the cell phone battery which is also served in the second row. As usual, the new Ranger will go up against the Toyota Tacoma and Chevrolet Colorado. These rivals better the current Ranger in some areas like towing capacity and by offering a more diverse range. We expect the new Ranger to turn the tables, though, especially since it was designed with the North American market in mind from the very beginning. At this early stage, it's no surprise that Ford hasn't said anything about pricing. 
We don't expect there to be a huge difference between the existing model and the new one, so expect the 2023 Ranger to start at around $27,000.